We are today at the Microsic Training Center, uh, where train the trainer event happens. So let's go inside and let's ask these passionate, knowledgeable guys about their favorite Microsic devices. So uh, please tell us your name and tell us about the first Microsic device you've experienced or owned or used. Well, my first Microsic was a Hap Mini. Mm. I still have it today. Um, I've overpowered it several times. <laughs> it's handy for a little access point, but don't try to push mangle rules on it. Mm -hmm. It will fall over. Um, my favorite currently must be the ELF um, 5009. Mm. That's a really, really powerful machine. Um, you can run containers on it. The amount of mangle rules you can put on there, uh, and it doesn't even break a sweat. Mm -hmm. Brilliant device. So uh, you've mentioned mangle rules a couple of times. So uh, do you want to share some other interesting use cases? Why Microstick? Why do you choose Microstick? What's your favorite, um, I don't know, use case or possibilities and so on? Well, Microstick is like the Swiss Army knife. You can do anything with it. It works um, with router OS 7 or even router OS 6, you don't need licensing. You can run OSPF on it, you can run BGP on the biggest and the smallest routers. Mm -hmm. They all work. Yeah. And you pay once and it's done. That's right, no paywalls. And uh, we sometimes even say that it's uh, not a Swiss Army knife, it's the whole Swiss Army. That is correct, that is correct, <laughs> yes. It is the old Swiss Army or the Latvian Army for that side. Yeah. It's real, real, real good product. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, my name is Diego, I'm from Brazil, and my first contact, in fact, uh, was with three different devices at the time, because I want to share my internet connection with my friend, uh, who lived at the time like three blocks away from me. So it was with a SXT, a Groove, and also the RB750, the first uh, Microtech device with a plastic case. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they were great devices at the time. I could share my internet connection without any problem, but uh, I, I had to learn how to operate this new operation system because I only knew Linux at the time and now I had to learn a new operation system. Mm -hmm. And uh, what about more recent times? Do you have any favorite devices? Oh yeah, absolutely. My favorite device is not a router, but a switch. I really like the CRS 354, if I'm not wrong, the PoE version. Mm -hmm. We got 48 PoE Ethernet uh, gigabit ports, plus four SFP plus ports, and also two key SFP plus ports. So we have a lot of speed in a single device and all of these with 48 PoE ports. So we can power everything with it, so IP phones, access point, wireless access points, and everything with this powerful device. It's really amazing. Mm -hmm. So sounds like you've been using Microstick for uh, quite some time. So why Microstick? What's your favorite thing about the ecosystem maybe, or the features, or the use cases? Well, there are many different reasons for using Microstick. I really like the 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 thing that you only have to learn a single operating system and use the same operating system on switches, access points, uh, routers, and all kind of network equipment. And also the hardware is really good because uh, we, we, we don't see uh, Microtech devices just hanging on with, without any reason and you can operate under direct sunlight and uh, you guys have really good device and I congratulate you <laughs> um, because you. all this device, you guys are really doing a great job. <laughs> well, thank you and we would never be able to do it without uh, dedicated people like you. Oh, so thank, thank you. you too. <laughs> thank you too. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> all right, uh, my name is Torik. I'm from Indonesia. I First, my mechanical device is RB951. Mm. It's a with single wireless yeah. and five Ethernet. We used to home lab or do uh, doing learning, but about routing, hotspot, and simple queue for mm -hmm. the my home lab. Uh -huh. right. And uh, is that also your favorite device, or there is another one maybe? Uh, actually, for now, um, my favorite is Hub iX3. Mm. Uh, I'm used in my home 
in the Indonesia. I used to uh, home lab as the gateway as well as YV6 is my defense uh, client as support YV6 too. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and what do you like about MyCritic? Uh, why MyCritic? Uh, because it's very large feature. Mm. Yes, very large feature. You can use the symbol queue for limitation bandwidth and uh, like the, so many feature routing like a static, OSPF, BGP. Well, we can run order in one device. We can not uh, add new device for mm -hmm. new feature. This. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, have a great day here today. My name is uh, Thomas Fossum. I'm from Denmark. And my first experience was with the CCR 2004, with the SPF version. Uh, actually, I bought it, and I just put it in a rack, and I didn't really use it for a long time. And then I started using it, and uh, it was quite a sharp learning curve, but it was also a very satisfaction, good satisfaction. Really nice device and uh, well thought, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. And uh, since then, have you explored any other devices? Maybe you have a favorite or a device that you want to buy at some point? Yeah, my new favorite is the uh, RB5009 with the power version. Mm -hmm. I really like the way that you can have a lot of uh, PoE out uh, and still have the SPF Plus interface and still lots of uh, Ethernet interfaces. So a really good device, mm -hmm. uh, well thought and very rugged, robust. So I'm, I'm using it already in uh, three places. Oh. So, yeah. Great. And uh, you mentioned steep learning curve. So can you tell me why is it worth it? Like, uh, why MyCritic? Why learn this stuff? With MyCritic, I think you get a device where you bridge the gap between the big high-end providers and the low-end uh, stuff that sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. Mm -hmm. So you get a device that's very versatile, it's very rugged, uh, and basically, I feel I can use it with confidence in a lot of environments um, for clients and for setups. So, yeah, it's very versatile and very rugged. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Thomas Murdoch. I am from Idaho in the United States. Um, one of the first MyCropTik products that I worked with extensively was the Routerboard 2011. Um, I quite like that particular product, you know, it had that beautiful red and black case and uh, came in a lot of different versatile configurations, so. Mm -hmm. And uh, since then, any recent favorites? Uh... Well, I, I know this one has recently gone out of production, but one of my favorites was the uh, Cloud Core Router 1036, especially the variant with the two SFP Plus ports. Um, you know, you could put a lot of bandwidth through that thing, it was rock solid and uh, you know, of course, had all the MicroTik features in there without having to worry about uh, about licensing. So, so it, it sounds like you have quite some uh, experience with MicroTik. So, uh, tell me, why MicroTik? Um, I think it's it's really the best bang for your buck. Um, it gives you a lot of features. Like I mentioned earlier, you don't have to really worry about licensing, not buying extra licenses for MPLS or BGP. And uh, the hardware is capable, and uh, the hardware itself is inexpensive as well. Um, I like the ways that you can interact with the routers, the, uh, the user interfaces. I think Winbox is a graphical user interface, but it's not a dumbed down one. It's one you can actually get work done in. And uh, the, the CLI on MicroTix is like nothing I've ever seen before. It's, it's very pleasant to work with, and the way that the scripting language integrates with it is, is really pleasant as well. Okay, great, thank you. Uh, my name is Arber Recasina, and uh, my first uh, MicroTik device I remember was uh, uh, the one, it was black, and it is, was RB450. So this came to my memory, it was uh, very nostalgic because I like it very much, the chess chassis, and uh, was my first uh, connection with uh, MicroTik, and I like the serial port also that you you could never lose a connection to the to the network if uh, any Ethernet ports came down. So, mm -hmm. and uh, why are you doing like this? Why do you choose MicroTik, and wh why do you uh, like networking in general? Well, because I th I think MicroTik is very versatile, like a uh, uh, Switzerland knife. I think it says you can use it for everything, and it has. Uh, 
a good development behind. Uh, it makes things easy and it demonstrates that behind there are so much effort or people who wants to make uh, for Nitro engineer things easy to accomplish. It works well. Um, it uh, completes the, all the standards on the RF RFCs and uh, they update so frequently and are transparent telling what they do. So uh, I, I, they are honest and I think this is important. And uh, these uh, are elegant devices, are not heavy, small. Mm -hmm. They perform very well. So thank you. Thank you so much. This is great. <laughs>